Howdy folks, coming back at with you with another THSS Tech video. Uh, today we're all gonna be about introducing you to Godot or Godot, depending on your persuasion. Uh, so let's just get started with that. Uh, the first thing you need to do is find where that is on your computer. So you only have to do this once, but um, a lot of you, uh, it's not gonna be installed, so you have to find out where we put it. So go ahead and open up a folder at the bottom of your screen there and go into the Windows, or go to this PC, then Windows C Drive, click on your Program Files, and under your Program Files, you should have a program called Godot. Down there, uh, it's in that folder there, and uh, you can launch it just like this, or you can do what I do, and click on it once, right click, and create a shortcut for it, and that shortcut should pop up on your desktop there and then you can just close that window and launch it that way so here we go with godot it's going to give you this error message when you first start because you don't have any projects yet unless you already do uh, so you can just go ahead and cancel that and then be on this screen here i'm just going to maximize the window so you can see it uh, and then up here we're going to create a new project so i'm going to create a new project i'm going to give it a name I'm gonna give it uh, a new project name. I'm gonna call it THSS Tech Video. You can call it whatever you want. I suggest maybe your last name so it's easy to find later. Um, but any project name is fine. Just don't put any special characters in it uh, or anything like that. Uh, we're gonna leave everything default on the bottom here. You want it on forward plus. It's a sort of um, uh, the way it's gonna create the game, uh, but everything else, you just leave it default. But we need to put it in the correct place. So right now, it's trying to put it on my C drive, but of course you know that that's not where we put stuff. So let's hit this browse button here and then find the tech drive. So that is under path here, go down to K colon, and under K colon, we want to find our media design folder, and then our class name, it's gonna to go to my class there, and find the correct folder, here's mine. I've created a Godot folder. If you don't already have a Godot folder, go ahead and hit create folder, call it Godot. I'm gonna hit cancel because I already have one. And then you'll be in that folder. That's fine, you can select your Godot folder, but we also want to create a new folder for our game. So I'm gonna create a new folder called THSS Tech Video in there. And now our full path or location is gonna be the media, K colon, our media design folder, our class name, uh, your individual folder, Godot, and then your project uh, folder, the same as your project name. So once all that's set up, you can hit the create and edit button, and it's gonna create a new project for you in your folder. So Godot, as we talked about a little bit in class, is a uh, game design engine, but it's also our way that we're gonna use to talk about coding and scripting and all that kind of stuff. So here's Godot. It, it might be a familiar interface for you. It kind of gives you this 3D uh, view, I'm holding the middle mouse button just to move around on the 3D view with our X, Y, and Z axes. But we are not using Godot as a 3D game engine. We're gonna use it as a 2D game engine. So we're gonna go up to the top here and instead of 3D, I'm gonna click on the 2D interface. Okay, so here's our 2D interface for Godot. I'm just gonna talk a little bit about uh, the buttons and panels that we see right now. So we have this main panel. It's probably the first thing you're gonna see is this big, huge main panel there. And just like our 3D view, it has different color axes. It's got X and Y axis here. And I can use my mouse wheel to zoom in and then my middle mouse button to pan over. This blue rectangle here, that's where our game is gonna get made. That's our scene uh, viewport. So keep in mind, that's the boundary of our screen. Now our screen might move around. Lots of games have camera in the game move around. And so you can build stuff outside of that little rectangle there, but that's gonna be your main camera view, okay? And then we have some other panels here. So this is the main viewport panel here, but over here, uh, the top left, 
we've got uh, your scene or node tree panel. That's where we're gonna create nodes. Nodes are a Godot thing. We'll be talking about those in a few minutes. Then we, at the uh, bottom left, we have a file system panel. That's where you're going to sort through your assets. And we'll talk a little bit of class about assets are. Assets are any models or pictures or backgrounds or sounds or scripts. All those go into uh, your file system panel here to get organized. And then we have on our right, on the far right, we've got our inspector panel. Inspector allows us to make changes to our assets as they appear in the game. So that'll all make sense in a few minutes, okay. So let's go ahead and in our uh, main panel here, we need to call this a new thing called a scene. So we're going to go over to our root node uh, option here in our uh, node panel, and we're gonna click the 2D scene button, which is gonna create a node 2D over here and make this into a scene. Now nothing changed in our viewport, Point, we're just making this organized so we can add stuff to it, okay? So now that we have that all set up there, we can add our first um, first object to our game. All right, so the kind of first assignment we're gonna do in Godot is uh, some objects dropping on your scene. And so in order for something to drop, it needs, you were gonna say, gravity. So we're gonna add something with gravity on it. Gravity is something you might study in physics class. And so let's add something to do with physics. Now, this is a bit complicated because there's all fancy names for things in these programs, but the thing we're gonna add is called a rigid body. And we're gonna add that as a new node. So I'm gonna click on this node 2D here, and I'm gonna hover over this plus button, and it's gonna say add child node. So we're gonna add a child to our uh, our main scene. So it's gonna be organized by our main scene and have a child as part of it. Again, this is gonna make a little bit more sense as we go. So I'm gonna click that here. Now we have an option of lots of different types of things we can add. There are you know, dozens of different things. Like I said, we can add sound effects and background music and scripts and all that kind of stuff. But the one we're gonna add, we're just gonna start searching for, is called a rigid body. You can see, once I look for it, it's like, oh, you must be wanting to add a rigid body. And yes, that's exactly what I want to add. And it says a 2D physics body that's moved by physics simulation. So that's exactly what we wanted. The physics simulation we want to add is gravity. So I'm going to hit the create button there. And you can see up here in our node panel now, we have our node 2D. And then we have a rigid body 2D uh, new node added. It's got a little error message here. We'll deal with that much later. But... Uh, it doesn't actually change anything here. There's nothing there. And that's because nodes have a specific job. So this node that we just added, its job is to add that physics. And we can see that now, if we take our mouse over all the way to the right, you can see that in our inspector here, we have something called a gravity scale. So we know it's added gravity, but it doesn't have any image to it. So that's actually going to be part of our new node that we're gonna add. We're gonna add something that has an image, okay? So I'm gonna take my mouse here, I'm gonna make sure I've selected the rigid body 2D, because now I'm gonna make uh, part of this rigid body 2D have the job of adding an image. And that way I'm gonna add a new node as a child, okay? And then I'm going to type what our new node is going to be. Now, art, in this style of 2D games has a special name as well, just like rigid body is our special name for anything to do with physics. Uh, art in a 2D game is called a sprite. So we're gonna search for sprite. I'm right there, sprite 2D, that's exactly what we want. We'll later we'll add uh, animated sprites, but for now a sprite 2D is exactly what we want. Let's hit create there. And you can see in our node tree, the sprite is a child of the rigid body 2D. The main purpose of this node is to have uh, control over the gravity, make it fall, but we're gonna give uh, uh, a picture to this particular one here. Now, by default, Godot always creates a project with one picture in it. And that is down here in our file system, this icon.svg, it's the Godot icon. 
So what we can do is we can add that to our rigid body by clicking on the sprite. Gotta make sure it's clicked on the sprite. And then over here on our inspector panel, you'll see it says texture empty. So that's why we don't see anything right now is because there's nothing in that texture. So we can click on this icon and start dragging it. And as it's dragging, you can see it's lit up over here on the empty. So if I drag it just right into this empty here, done. Now you can see that our node here has uh, a picture to it. Our rigid body has a picture. And if I press play to test my game scene, we'll be doing this a lot, it'll show me if it works. But the first time I press play, it's gonna say, wait a second, you haven't told me which thing is your scene. And so we'll say select current, that's the scene we want. And then we have to save that scene. It's not ideal that we're calling it no 2D, but for now, let's just save it just to make sure we know what we're doing. And now it's gonna play test our games, can take a few seconds to you know figure it out. And you can see it falls, but it's way over to the side. Let's just watch that again. The second time you do it, it should only take a second. There we go. So you can see it's not great because it falls on the side. We don't, we don't actually want to see that. We wanna see it in the middle. So I'm going to drag it to the middle, but I'm gonna do it in a way that makes a mistake. So don't follow along if you're trying to follow along. Don't do this, I'm gonna make a mistake. I'm gonna drag this to the middle. Now I just made a mistake, that's not the way I want to do it. Can you think of why? Of course you did, it's because we didn't drag the whole object, we just grabbed the part of the object that's the sprite. The rigid body is still over here on the top left corner, because that's where we started, and we just separated the two. In coding, we call that, a, 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 you know, the child-parent relationship. The rigid body is a parent, the uh, Sprite2D is a child of the parent, and we just lost our child. The child went wandering off on its own. So I'm gonna hit Control Z to put it back, and this time I wanna move the whole object by clicking on the rigid body 2D and moving the whole object. Now, it looks identical on the scene, but it's something you need to get used to, and there's a way that you can link them together so you always have that happen. So I'm gonna hit Control Z again to put it back, and then I'm gonna click on the parent again, and I'm gonna click on this, group selected nodes. It's not a very good icon for this, it's next to the lock button, but it is going to make it so that every time I click on part of this, it's going to treat it as a whole. Okay, so if I group them together, it adds that little icon over here, and now when I move that, it moves the whole thing, both the rigid body and the sprite. Once we get really into this, yeah, some of these nodes are gonna have, you know, several different nodes as children. It's gonna have lots of children, uh, but for now we just have this one child. And now if we go to press play here, our uh, icon should fall from the middle, and you know, we can move it all the way up here, and now it doesn't start in our scene, but it quickly falls into our scene. And so it's doing exactly what we want it to do. I'm just gonna move it back to the middle, so near the top here. Okay, now, I hate this picture. I want one of the pictures that we made in class. We spent all that time on A Sprite making pictures, so let's add one of our own pictures to this, uh, to this object here, okay? So I'm gonna click back on the Sprite 2D, and I'm going to hit the back or the reset button on the Sprite and just get rid of it. Now it's empty again. So we need to put our own pictures in there. And we'll talk about this in class, but modern games have tens of thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of assets. So we need to keep those assets organized in a game. So we're gonna do that by creating a folder down here. So take your mouse button and then hover sort of in one of these uh, empty areas of this panel here in the file system and right click and say folder. And I'm gonna create a folder called art. And you can make it you know, pixel art or whatever it might be, but I wanna create it called art. And then I'm going to go and open up where I've kept some art for you. You can always go get your own pixel art as long as it's in the correct file format. We'll talk about that in class. But I made a folder here that you can take the art from if you're in the school here. So open up uh, a new folder and then go to the tech new NAS, this PC, 
tech new NAS. And at the very top, uh, it has assets. And in assets, there's a folder called Godot. And in there, there's a, a folder called Godot training. Double click on that. And then Mr. Goodman, our good pal, has made three different assets for this project. Okay, so let's take these three objects and put them in our new art folder. I'm gonna click on that art folder first, I forgot to do that. And then I'm gonna drag a box around these three things and then click and drag it. So they're now assets in our game. You can see this little arrow appeared and we'll click that, we can see our three assets. Okay, so let's go back to our Sprite 2D and let's drag this orange into the texture here. Now we have an orange, we can, we can press play and you can see this orange fall. Problem is this orange is teeny tiny. We want, we want a large orange, oh, yeah, a grapefruit sized orange. So let's make it larger. Let's do that. We can use this little arrow tool here and just click and drag. But our problem is we now have a really fuzzy orange. Okay, so we gotta fix that problem. And the problem here is that Godot doesn't know that this is meant to be a uh, piece of pixel art. It just thinks it's like a photograph. And so it's trying to help us out by softening the edges of the photograph. We don't want that. We want this to be a piece of pixel art. So we have to go tell Godot that this is pixel art. And we do that by clicking on the Sprite 2D and going to our inspector panel and part way down, it says texture up here. It also says texture here, make that larger. And then where it says filter, we're gonna take the filter nearest. And then that allows us to see this as a much larger grapefruit sized orange. Perfect, puts that down. Okay, so we have an orange now. Okay, that's cool. Uh, let's add a background. Okay, that sounds good. Let's add one of those. So I'm gonna click plus. Well, first I gotta click on my tree because the a background, we don't want it as a child of the 2D, uh, of the, um, the rigid body, we're not a child, this is not gonna fall, the background's gonna stay, so I want it to be at the same level as the rigid body. So click on your node 2D, your main script, your main, I'm sorry, your main node for the scene, and we're gonna add the child to that. And this time, we're not gonna add a rigid body or a sprite, we're gonna add a rectangle. So let's start typing. R-E-C-T, rectangle, and you can see there's a bunch of different kinds of rectiles here. Now I want this space background to be on my rectangle, so I'm gonna click on the texture rect button, and then we're gonna create that node. And you can see it's created it under the node 2D, but at the same kind of you know level as this rigid body 2D. Follow the line there, okay? And then that allows us, just like the other one, to drag this space background into the texture. That's fine, okay. Let's, see. oh no, that looks just terrible. Let's play our game here. Oh, that's just awful. I'm gonna hit Control Z, put it back. So we need to fix that problem. The first thing we can do to fix that problem is, again, we gotta tell Godot this is supposed to be pixel art. Okay, so that'll fix one of our problems, but it still doesn't really fix our problem. That looks okay, but stars are usually a lot smaller than that. So we want to, when we drag this out, we want it to sort of tile across. When you do that where it says stretch mode over here, we're gonna change from scale to tile. And now if I make it larger, ooh, nice. Okay, creates that starry sky. Okay, but we still have a problem, and that problem is we can't see our orange anymore. We tucked it behind this sort of curtain of stars. That's poetic. Uh, okay, so let's put the curtain behind the rigid body. When you do that by clicking and holding and dragging this above there. So whatever's on the front, on the bottom of this order here is gonna be closest to our virtual camera, if that makes any sense. Okay, so now if we press play, we're gonna see the background of stars and we're gonna see the orange fall.
Okay, hopefully everyone's with me so far. It's often a good idea to change the names of these things if we have lots of them. So I'm gonna do that now. I'm gonna right click and rename. I'm gonna rename this one here, background. I'm gonna rename this rigid body here, orange, okay? And we can minimize that because we don't need to play with that anymore. That's fine. And now, you know, everything's gonna be the same. We just are organizing our game because like I said earlier, modern games have tens of thousands of assets. So we're gonna have to keep them organized and named. Um, all right, so we have one more piece of art that we can add to our scene and that is a ground. Okay, so this is the trickiest one. Now we want the orange as it falls to land on the ground. But we don't want the ground to fall, but we want the orange to hit the ground. Hitting something in a game is also a property of physics. So we need to add the same kind of physics that we added for the orange. So we're gonna go to our node 2D, our main uh, scene, and we're gonna add another rigid body. Okay, let's add the rigid body. Now there's nothing there for a rigid body yet because we need to add a child to that rigid body. That child's gonna be a, actually, I'm gonna make it a, uh, a texture rect. Same thing as before. So we're gonna have this and that's because I want to tile it. We'll deal with that in a minute or two. Okay, you can add it as a sprite as well. It just stretches the sprite. It's not that big of a deal. Uh, so we have this as a child and now I wanna do the same thing I did for my orange and I wanna link the child and the parent together. Group it together with that little group tool there. And I'm gonna drag my ground background and make sure you clicked on the texture rect. And we're gonna drag that into the texture there. I'm going to rename this node now to be, you know, ground. Okay, and now it shows up here, fantastic. And I can make sure we're moving both. And then I'm going to go to the texture rect here and change the stretch mode to tile and we can tile out the bottom okay cool now the problem is i can't necessarily make it bigger this way because it'll just start to tile it so we could go to the ground and we could try to make it bigger or smaller or whatever. I don't want to do any of those things. Let's just keep it like this for now. You can go and you can try to scale it on the Y as something bigger, blah, 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 blah. But we'll deal with that in a future lesson. What I want to do now is see what happens when I press play. Oh no, they both fall. Gravity is on. Hopefully you notice that when you click on the rigid body property, the, the parent node, you have a gravity here. So let's instead of put a gravity at one, let's put gravity at zero. Press enter, and now let's play our game. Okay, so we have the orange fall and the ground platform doesn't fall. However, we haven't quite solved our problem yet. Okay, our problem is we want it to hit. Okay, so let's do that now. We do that, let's, let's um, look at our children of this orange here by adding another child to each of the nodes, okay? So our orange and our ground need the same kind of node to allow them to hit together. And that node has another fancy name in, in game design. It's called a collider, okay? So we're gonna add, make sure you've selected the orange, the main uh, parent node, and we're gonna hit the plus button. And we're gonna add another child. Congratulations, add another baby. And we're gonna call that a collider. So we're gonna add a collision shape 2D because we're making a 2D game. We're gonna hit create, okay? But the problem is it has no shape. If you look up here, it says shape empty. Now we don't have to drag something in. We can just use this as a drop down and say, what kind of shape do we want it? Well, we want it to be a wreck. Oh, this is the orange. We wanna make it the orange a circle. See, it made it over here, which is a little awkward. So we're going to come in here. We actually have to ungroup it to fix this problem. So go back here to ungroup it. Oh, no. 
There we go. And we're gonna just click and there. Move our object there. And then you can see it's kind of blue. That's the hitbox of the orange if you play uh, fighting games. And we're gonna make that hitbox, that collision shape, larger. Okay, something like that looks good. And then we can come back to the orange and lock it together again. And we gotta do the same thing for this ground uh, piece here. We'll ungroup it here first, and then add a collider uh, 2D, click shape 2D, create. And there it is there. And uh, we gotta give it, it's empty right now, so let's make it, in this case, a rectangle. It's up at the corner there, so we gotta select it down there. And then, let's zoom in for this, make it, I'm gonna give it a little bit of grass at the top so it sinks into the mud a little bit. There we go, good. And then we can come back here and re-lock it together. And now let's see if our handiworks paid off by seeing if they hit together. Boom, except that it falls as well. They're heavy. Okay, so we gotta fix one more problem and that is this gets hit as it's like a physics object. We, want, we don't want this to move at all, we want immovable ground. Okay, so make sure you've selected your ground tile. One thing you could do is just make it super heavy so like the orange is light and this is heavy and then it sort of works, but not exactly. That's kind of cool. You might want to play with that later, but that's not actually going to help. So I'm going to press Control Z, undo that. What we need to do is deactivate this bottom ground tile. So I'm going to hit the deactivation and I'm going to turn on freeze, which means it's just going to freeze where it is. If we don't actually want it, we want to treat it as ground. And then it can hit and that's our first lesson of Godot. Thanks, everybody. Uh, take care. We'll see you in class.